welcome to our new fairy land. I came here to party, I'm not gonna lie. So call up somebody, cause I ain't got the time. No, nah, no. Nah. So we're camping and we're taking a little bit of a walk. We don't need to carry that the whole way, bud. Drop it. Distractor. My fashion on the hike. I know it comes right up, doesn't it? Hi. Hi. Four plus five equals nine. Um, do not go down Who that hikes and stresses I do? <laughs> So as you can see, we're now on a hike. We had a, a campsite and now we're on a hike we too. Yeah, we need to follow the road. <laughs> and I found lots of crystals. I came here to party. I'm not gonna lie. So call up somebody. Cause I ain't got the time. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm feeling myself in the best way. I'm gonna pretend it's my birthday. Got all of my friends going crazy. Cause this is how we do. Woke up dancing in the club on a Saturday night. Go driving down sunset. anybody knows me and you've been here for a while you know my hair takes like all day to dry it is crazy it holds water which I don't know if that's a sign that it's really damaged 
probably is. But I've been using some products to try to work on my hair. It's a lot healthier than it was. I know I need to trim the ends. But they're not split. They're just dry and uneven. So I'm going to trim them up probably today. I did lighten up the root growth and um, kind of let it in. Not really an ombre effect, but I guess kind of. Um, just kind of melted it into the roots a little bit better. I needed I needed something a little bit better. So the sun will lighten it more. But um, yeah, that's why I look like this right now. However, I am getting lunch going. I don't have a microwave, so I got a apparently microwavable meal. What was it? Let me see. How gross is my garbage can right now? Oh, it's not bad. I got this. It is... Tattoo Chef plant-based beef burrito bowl. It's cilantro rice mixed with rice, cauliflower, plant-based beef, roasted corn, black bean, toss in jalapeno crema. And so this is what it looks like. Let me flip you around so you can Ta-da! So I just added some olive oil to a pan. Ah! Turn on the wrong burner. Shout out if you know the, if you know the struggle. I always use this burner, but I was like, oh, it's a small pan. I'll put it on a small burner. Um, I did wipe these down a little while ago. I didn't wipe these off. I did give these a quick wipe down. As you can see, they still need a good scrub, but it's better than it was. I've got my tea. I'm going to take a quick sip, but I did clean. Oh, I got to use something on that aluminum that doesn't leave streaks. I love tea. Um, but yeah, so I'm having a lunch and this has streaks too. Look at that. Uh, I used my tough cleaner instead of my usual cleaner for in here. So I've got to grab that and give everything a wipe down here a little bit, the streak free stuff. Um, and then I gotta give a good scrub to the bottom of the coffee pot. It's really not that color guys. It is it's so gross, right? What are you doing over there? I see you. I see you. <laughs> but anyways, so while that warms up, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of water to it because it's just, Looks like it needs a little something. So it's not steaming in the microwave. All right, it's 11 11 make a wish. <laughs> um, so I love what Sergio did here with the island. It's a work in progress. We still have stuff out that we need to take care of from camping, sun tea containers and whatnot here, um, herbs and spices and stuff. And then I've got to find somewhere to put this. This was from our road trip last year and it was in the window and I'm afraid it's going to fall, especially with like plants, this cat grass. So I'm afraid the cats are going to go up there and try to like eat their cat grass and knock it over. But of course you want to keep that in the window. So I need to find a shelf in the house to put that on. But otherwise, like most things are clean. I just opened the dishwasher. I've got some stuff that I was hand washing up top, the bigger things. And then all of this. I'm just going to do a sanitize. I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it, but I want to do a quick sanitize. It was in storage for a couple of years, maybe more than a couple of years, um, at my grandparents' house. So this is all stuff that I got from there. So I want to just do a quick sanitize of it all. So I got to do that. Um, it, I, it's just an OCD thing. I've, it's clean. It is absolutely clean, but it's just something that I just need to do for myself. So this kitchen will be clean again. You guys saw it clean. This room has become storage as well as the um, gaming room. It's got boxes in here because we've been saving boxes from everything to, uh, I'll show you the kitty tower. You got the cat's new tower as well. Hi, Melina. Hi, beautiful. Hi, chippers. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute mess in there right now because we are getting ready to move prep. Um, we got an update regarding our move. We will update you sooner that me and Sergio will sit down with you together and update regarding all of that stuff. We are no longer moving to Guam if you've missed that. Um, but yeah, we'll update you on that in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stir this and then I'll be right back. One second. So camping this weekend got a little crazy. My vlogging camera had died. My phone, as it is now, was needing charge and it was intense. And I don't mean that as a pun. We were obviously camping in a tent, but um, <coughs> we knew it was supposed to rain. So we had put like all our spare batteries, all our extra stuff in the car. The camera was dead. So we were like, whatever, we left it in the car. We prepared the tent with Scotchgard. We were ready for rain. 
We were not ready for what happened. Our tent made it through like a champ. However, it turned into a severe thunderstorm. It was like someone literally just poured open, like, like opened a downspout, like poured an open glass of water just push over us. It was insane from like 10 till, oh goodness, like two, three o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. We tried to sleep as much as we could. There was small breaks of like 10 to 15 minutes that we tried to sleep during those moments, but it was, it was. It was making us question our, our choices for a few moments, but we were also counting the distance between like the lightning strikes and the thunder, um, sounds, timing those, making sure they weren't getting closer, making sure they were getting further away. Um, they never came more than like one or two seconds. Never, I think the smallest I counted was three seconds apart. Um, and I think that's supposed to be like three seconds for three miles or something. I don't know. I remember learning that as, a kid in a survival thing. I've got to see how accurate that still is because that could be really bad. <clears throat> My throat definitely hurts today being out in like allergen stuff. But um, yeah, it was crazy. It was so part of my scratchy voice. It was crazy. I know Sergio was like, should we go? Should we go? Should we go? And then it'd be crack. And then it'd be like, I think we're going to just not move for a second. <laughs> it was like the fact that we just heard the crack. I think we're still alive. I think we're okay. <laughs> it was questionable. It definitely was questionable. Um, let me know if you have any crazy like camping experiences. I want to do blizzard camping. Some people tell me I'm just, I'm just nuts. Um, I'm going to take Sergio winter camping next winter. Um, especially with, I really don't want to say it, but with our news of where we will be moving, um, winter camping will be possible this coming winter. So, all right, I'm going to finish making my food. I came here to party. I'm not going to lie. So call up somebody. Cause I ain't got the time. Nah, nah. I'm feeling myself in the best way.